Maya One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently. This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Something is eating from your hands. There is a power that is eating from your hands. It's the power of the enemy. Money comes, money doesn't stay. You see money all right like this, but money doesn't stay. Something is eating from your hands. So you are the type that will feel occasionally itchiness. Rabbit, you feel itchiness in your hands. And when you feel the itchiness in your hand, it's a sign that something is taking money out of your hands. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout again Jesus. Jesus. For the last time, Jesus. Jesus. Okay. So in the realm of the spirit, and I saw water and okro come towards fire. Come towards fire. And I saw they fell on fire. And I saw the fire quenched. And the fire died. And the spirit of God said, where you are standing right now, you are fire. You are the fire. Amen. And the okro is your enemy. If you are building or if you have started a project like a business, then the spirit of God said, I should tell you to hold on for a while. Don't be in a hurry to take off. The spirit of God said, hold on. Whether it is a, a building project or a business project, the spirit of God said, hold on for a while. Because there is somebody who is challenging you and bewitching you. And if you are not careful, just at the verge of the breakthrough, you will die. Like somebody who has built and yet the, the project has been completed. But just as at the time of entering into the house, something happens and you die. And the Spirit of God said, I should tell you why he's using okru and fire as symbol. is because the fire represents your ministry, your calling. There's fire upon you. And the okru is one full stop the enemy is going to use to create problems in your tummy. Disorder, discomfort in your tummy. So the Spirit of God said, don't eat okru again. You su. I will okro home. I will okro home because home na to kill you. He is fighting you through food, and the food is what okro. The food is okro, and if you eat okro, they will get you. I am seeing. Are you a fanti? Yes, I'm from the central region. Central region. Yes. I also need. Yeah, I was in Fanti area, but Fanti I was born and bred in Takradi, so Fanti I speak Fanti. Yeah. Okay, because I saw a procession, a procession, me who convoy, and go for this ubebre omeni chere, Fanti area ho, ah yeku aku ja ubi, na nipa na yeku aku ja nono. The Spirit of God said, "You are closer than ever, and your steps should be retracted. Otherwise, suddenly something would have happened." surprisingly, and a lot of people would have put in the blame on somebody you have already defeated. A man. People would have placed the blame on a woman you have battled with and you have already defeated her, you have conquered her, but her hand was not going to be in this very attack of premature death that is coming. Because this premature death is coming from a colleague in business that wants to take over what you have labored for. Because if you are out of the way, then him, he will have everything for himself. He will have everything for himself. That is why you need a prophet. That is why you need a prophet. That is why you need a prophet. What is wrong with your waist? Because I've heard pray for his waist. What's wrong with your yeah, waist? Yeah, for some time now, my lungs and my wrists have some sensations. Your lungs? Yeah, you mean yeah. your tummy? Yes, my your tummy. Lungs, yes, yeah, your tummy. The side of my lungs and mm. my wrist. Is it affecting kid, kidney, no? No. Mm. I'm talking about the stomach, right? Yo. Because yo. Yo. Obi nima. Obi chre. Sun sun mun sem. Obi nima. Obi chre. But you see, there's something else I'm seeing. That is very sensitive. And the spirit of God said, this thing I am seeing, if I don't pray for you, 
it will disturb you a lot. I'm seeing a wound or a sore in a very sensitive place like your back, like your anus. I'm seeing a wound and it, took, it would have created a whole lot of problem. Sensitive part, sensitive place to the point that you would have even been shy and it would have been so difficult for you to open up to people, to tell people that I have a problem in my anus and I need help. And the Spirit of God said, it is not only your waist, I should also pray for that attack. Yeah, some couple of months ago, couple I detected of months that, ago. yes. Sorry? I said, I detected that a couple of months ago. You detected it yes, a, couple a couple of, of months, months ago. ago. Yes. Is there anyone here you have discussed it with? No. Because it's a sensitive matter to you. Yeah. It is something you, you are even shy to let people know that something like that is happening. That's very true. And the Spirit of God said, if I don't pray for you now concerning this matter and allow you to live here, it will become a problem for you. Okro is not good for you. You, you even ate okro before you came to church yeah, today. <laughs> but on some form of Jesus. <laughs> on some form of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do you know what I have just heard? I have just heard presidential advisor. Presidential advisor. And the ministry you have been told so many times. You have been told so many times. You have a ministry. You have a ministry. You have a ministry. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. The ministry God has given to you. Is not a ne necessarily the kind of ministry I have. Where you have to run day to day. Sunday after Sunday kind of ministry. The mini this is a secret to. Mm, so me I'm now going deeper. To what you have been hearing every day. Yes. Sir. The ministry God said he has given you. Is like the ministry of Ahitophel. A king. A king maker. A kind of ministry. Amen. God said he has placed that kind of ministry upon you. Amen. And I'm seeing you taking territories for God. Amen. God says. From today. Do not. Pray. And ask him to show you your kind of ministry. Amen. Because Amen. you have been disturbing him, right? Yes. Because the ministry he has given you is a counseling ministry. Thank you, Lord. A counselor. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that. A compliment. counselor. And all along, you have been wondering what makes you attracted to greatness? What makes you attracted to greatness? Everywhere there is greatness, you are there. Everywhere there is greatness, you are invited. You have been wondering. The reason is because God said he has made you a king maker. And this Amen. ministry that God has given to you, it will usher you to the United Nations. Amen. It will usher you, not to go, just go and be a delegate, but rather to go and be a speaker. Amen. And give a sermon. And preach and pray. Before the politicians will come and do their stuff. God says the ministry he has given to you is that kind of ministry. So the mistake you would have made. Because of the numerous prophecies that keep coming. That you have a ministry. Is to have to rush into me. To open your own church. That has been my problem for some time now. How? I've had countless prophecies. About the calling of God. And everybody says apostolic. And quite recently. One prophet in Ceylon told me that. If by next year. By this time. I haven't responded to the calling. I'll be in my grave and it will be shown to me like a video. But mm. I can't do anything about it because there is so much huge oil over my head. But wherever I go, they said, I have this ministry. But I asked God, God, How? what kind of ministry? How? I've been a member of the full gospel. I've been a main speaker. And I said, God, should I go to Bible school? I, I thought I've been loving you over the years. But what kind of calling is everybody talking about that? I don't know. I don't have any idea. So just last week, I started a school called Holy Ghost School just to see whether he will speak to me. And that has been my prayer. That he should show me the kind of ministry he's giving me. You have a counseling ministry. Amen. A kingmaker's ministry. A ministry that makes kings. So God will take you into people's life. You establish them. You move on. 
The moment you, you, you set up your own ministry, you ground yourself. You corner yourself. You can still be a great man of God and be serving under another man of God. You can still be a great servant of God and even be greater than the one you are serving under. And it is all about wisdom. The wisdom of God. So, the decoding of the ministry God has given to you is what I've given you today. I've decoded your ministry for you. You carry the ministry of Ahitophel. A kingmaker's ministry. A kingmaker's anointing. And when you finish your work on this earth, God himself will call you. Amen. And you will not die by the hands of the Amen. enemy. Amen. You will not die by the hands of your enemies. The spirit of death has been following you for too long. And each and every one that comes, God stands in front of you and he delivers you. God stands in front of you and he fights for you. And just as God has fought for you in the past, even this recent one they have brought, God is still using his servant to bring you out of it. Amen. Is it not surprising? How will I know? He said a couple of months ago, he has detected that something has started in his anus. How would I know? How will I know? If not for God that is interested in delivering you, there is no way I would have known. Because it is something that is so sensitive as I was prophesying. That it will get to that point, you will be shy to even tell anyone that you have such a problem. And this one is going to, was going to create so much, so much pain. And at the end of the day, if you had died, they would have placed it on that woman who sent accident your way to die by blood. And God delivered you out of it. They would have put in the blame on that woman, say, it will be a born on account, but it is not her. It is not her. Glory be to Jesus. Church, I said glory be to Jesus. I said glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. The spirit of God said, April, April, from now up until April, he's going to set a table before you. Amen. You will not die before your time. You will not be buried in this year. Your grave, I have covered it. 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 Just as God exchanged the death of Isaac with a lamp. I see a lamp. And God said, the lamp represents the blood of Yeshua. It has covered the grave. And it has filled the grave. And you will not die. You will not die. It's, it is as though somebody has washed the garment, right? And when they finish washing the garment, they are squeezing the garment. And that is what they are doing to the organs in your tummy. They are squeezing the organs in your tummy. You will not die. Amen. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I cover you in the blood of Jesus. Amen. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. Amen. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. The same God who delivered Isaiah from Uzziah's hand and Uzziah died and Isaiah rose up. May the same God through my prayer deliver you from the hands of death. May the same God deliver you from the hands of death. The Bible says, oh death, where is your power? Oh grave, where is your sting? Today, I break the power of death and I break the sting of the grave. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But God is going to honor you. Already the Lord said by April, by April next year, he's going to set a table before you. There's going to be celebration in your life. But then again, but then again, the Lord said there is a promotion and elevation that is coming. And that elevation that is coming, I hear professor. I hear professor. I hear professor. So there is an accolade. There is an accolade. Unless you will be the one to reject You say, I don't want. But if you want, there is an accolade that is going to come. And it will be 
an accolade that will be added to your name. Amen. It will not be Mister. It will not be Doctor. But it will be Professor. And you know how it's going to come? It's going to come through you setting up a school. You will set up a school. And people will come from America. People will come from the UK. People will come from Canada. People will travel from other parts of Africa and Asia. And they will come. And that school will be one of a kind school in Ghana. It will be one of a kind school in Ghana. And it's not just going to be a school. It's going to be a university standard school. And that is where your honor and your accolade of a professor is going to be added to your name. As you are clapping, may favor be added unto your life. May favor be added unto your life. May grace be added unto your life. God is going to give you sponsors and partners. So when the opportunity comes, don't say, my line is not there. My vision is not there. And let it pass you by. When it comes, grab it. Yeah. Grab it. Opportunity is going to come. And they want to set up a school. One of a kind school. University standard kind of a school. And you will be the one to be running the school here in this country. Yeah. You will go there. You will have meeting with them. You will bring them. And they will go back. And they will entrust you. Yeah. They will entrust you. Yeah. With the resources. With the finances. To build that modern day university. Yeah. That modern day university. You are a kingmaker. Your, your name will be known. In every corner in this country. Every man of God you have been trying to connect to. There will come a time they will try to connect to you. All the big shots in this country. They will be the one to want to connect with you. They will be the one to want to connect with you. My God and my Father. Say Jesus. Jesus. Shout again Jesus. Jesus. For the last time Jesus. Jesus. Father God bless you. And God bless your ministry. For in connection with the professorship. Uh, last year. A group conferred. An honorary doctorate of professorship. On me. Proud to that I had an honorary doctorate. But they made it. Honorary doctorate of professorship. So as we were prophesying, the Holy Spirit ministered unto me. That is why I was given the honor doctorate of professorship. Because I'm in the verge of getting into where. And same year last year too, a, a business associate, in fact we are like brothers, he was the youngest presidential candidate in Nigeria. And he runs a private university. He wanted us to team up to form one in Ghana. Wow. Yes. And he sent a letter that I'll become the chancellor. So I was asking myself, my first degree was psychology education. But I've never taught. I was a professional insurance broker. Then in the last five, six years, I decided to venture into international trade and investment. But I was asking myself, why this education to education turn? So I thank God for using you to give me clarity. Wow. Wow. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. My God and my Father, this is precision. Yes. Indeed. Precision. So as you are standing here now, you are known as Dr. Professor. Professor. So which one do you use? I've been using the doctor because I, I felt that at the right time, what the would be the other one? Yes. Wow. So I have the certificate. Wow. But I've been using the doctor. I want to see it with my naked yes. eyes. Yes, I, I, I can send it to you. Too. I have seen it in the spirit. I want my, to see it in the physical. Yes, I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll, I'll send or I'll, I'll send a copy to you, physical. My God and my Father. <laughs> and the devil wanted to end your life. Yes. You will not have kidney infection. Amen. I don't know the name of the sickness of that wound in your back. Yes. But I pray for you. Amen. Doctors can only operate you. And in operating you, you even spend so much money. Yes. They will tell you the doctors in Ghana cannot do this. Yes. So you have to travel outside the country to be operated. But I pray for you. Amen. I pray for you. Yes, Lord. That you will not wear pampas. Amen. As young as you are. Yes, Lord. You will not wear pampas. Amen. 
and you will not find difficulty in passing a stool. Amen. Ah, the grace that is upon my life. Mm. God said, wherever you will stand, yes, Lord. and you will lift your hand to pray, Amen. I, God, I will answer you. Amen. Amen. And my God and my Father, yes, Lord. I lift my hands, yes, Lord. and I open my heart mm. full of love Amen. for this man. Thank you, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, let this thing disappear. Amen. Let this wound disappear. Amen. I have seen you take away brain tumor in my ministry. I have seen you take away cancer. You have taken away prostate. Father, take away this one as well. Amen. Let the wound in his back, let it die and wither. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracle working God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. God says I should tell you. Because of this prayer. A new chapter. Amen. Has now opened. Amen. This, is, this is not how your story ends. Amen. The Lord said a new chapter has opened. And the chapter that has opened. Means that where you are supposed to end. Through this sickness. Mm. And a chapter of divine healing. Amen. Now Amen. follows you. Amen. Amen. You will come back with the testimony. Amen. You will come back you, with a testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless Jehovah God. Amen. We bless Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. God Dr. Blessing. Professor Charles. Charles. Botsi. Jose. Botsi. 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 Benin. Benin. Yes. Charles Benin. Do you know what you, you would have become before? Unless you told me, prophet. Before, huh? there was a destiny of a pilot. Oh, wow. As you were growing up, mm. there was a destiny of a pilot. Mm -hmm. But that aspect never manifested. Mm. It never manifested, but it was part of your journey. Amen. It was part of your journey. Amen. God bless you. God bless you too. You are a great man of God. You are a king maker. I'm humbled. Make me a king oh. in this land of Ghana. Oh, you are a king maker. You hold the key. Make me a king. God has given you the key. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a king. You already a king. <laughs> uh, you don't. You don't know the grace you carry. Uh, you I'm carry close. something special. Yes, Lord. That is why I'm humbling myself. You say, "Make me a king." There is just one word you speak, Prophet. Do it like this, mm. Prophet. Take this direction, mm. and my ministry will take off the roof. As your heart desires, Prophet. Uh -huh. Stand in my office. Uh -huh. Stand, an stand in your office. Stand me. in your office. And I decree and I declare uh -huh. that may you be ushered Amen. into a level that will beat human understanding. Amen. Now that you have come to Ghana mm. to start your ministry, mm. may God bring your destiny helpers. Amen. May they feel restless Amen. until they come Amen. and support your ministry. Amen. May God connect you to the leaders of the nations. Amen. As you prophesy over them, Amen. may they now look out for you Amen. and bless your ministry. Amen. May they say that we want to have a chapter of your ministry Amen. in our nations. Amen. From today going, Amen. as you have blessed me, Amen. as you have touched an issue Mm. That has bothered me for years. Mm. May the God who has preserved my life all mm. these years mm. from demonic attacks, orchestrations, and whatever, mm. may that God also honor you as you have been. Amen. 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 God bless you. Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King is worth hearing.